Hey guys, this is Josh with Austin Underground, and I'm here with Knight Argent. And how are you guys doing today? Pretty good, yeah, pretty yeah. good. And how has Warp Tour been treating you guys so far? Amazing. It has been awesome. It's been hot. Yeah, yeah it's really hot out there. So, um, how did you guys come together as a band? Uh, well, all of us uh, grew up in the same hometown. Uh, we went to the same high school at different times. Uh, I had started a project, and I reached out to Jeff when I saw a video of his online. I was really impressed by his guitar and vocal skills. and. Um, you know, we all kind of knew each other through different networks, and uh, after we all had the chance to play together, it just kind of clicked, and we uh, realized that we all want to make this a career. Awesome. So, um, where did the name come from, Night Argent? Well, our studio is actually uh, located on Argent Road uh, in Pasco, so we spend a lot of time there. Um, so the name just kind of fell into our laps, really, Night Argent. You know, we're, we're there all the time. Yeah, it's a throwback to our hometown. You know, we, we have a lot of love for our hometown, and um, it's kind of an homage to that. Right, awesome. So um, what are some of y'all's music influences? I mean, as far as a band, we, we've all just absolutely fallen in love with the Magic Dragons, X Ambassadors, AWOL Nation, Mute Math. Just, just anybody who not only can produce, like, a great, like, alternative rock album, but just can, you know, when it comes to that live setting, they... Is bring it to another level with the energy and connecting with the fans, and that's what we've just you know been looking for and trying to do ourselves. All right, awesome. So you guys actually opened up for Imagine Dragons, and how was that experience? Uh, I mean, it was really cool. It was when they were first you know coming up, and uh, you know they were building a following, and they had that you know on your time was their first song. They had that song, and um, it was really cool seeing a band. Uh, you know, just so well put together because uh, it was right at the beginning of what we were starting to do and it gave us a chance to kind of see what a band could do you know with that style of music and that energy awesome so you guys are currently working on a new EP and what can fans expect from it well we're gonna be working on the new EP with John Feldman which we're really stoked about after Warp Tour um, the EP that we just finished, uh, we released exclusively for Warp Tour attendees. Um, they can get it free. Yeah, I mean, uh, we'll, we'll be uh, releasing the EP that we did exclusive for Warp Tour after Warp Tour is done to uh, all the new fans that we have, the people who weren't able to make it out to Warp Tour. But uh, we have a lot of new music that we're excited to share with people. All right, so we do have your EP that's currently out right now yep. on Warp Tour. So. What was the songwriting process like for these songs that you guys put out? Well, typically what we do is um, we'll start with like a melody and lyrical idea, and then we'll play around in our in our studio with production ideas, kind of figure out what the vibe and uh, the the groove of the song is going to be. And the biggest part of the the development of the song is when we play it live. So we'll have a song idea and we'll start playing it live, you know, in our hometown and uh, places in the Northwest and the song really develops and changes based off of you know crowd reaction and how people get engaged to certain parts of the song and the song develops that way so we always try to play a song live for a little bit before we go in the studio to record it awesome well thank you guys for talking with us and we wish all the best of luck hey, on the rest of the world tour yeah, i appreciate it thank you yeah buddy. thank you very much